I have been planning this video since November. This was supposed to be a weakness video. And I'm sure you're wondering, what could you possibly have been planning for so long? Well, it's kind of hard to get people who have full-time jobs and are hobbyists of voice funny shenanigans to get together, especially when they live upwards of six hours uh, in time zones apart. That is why I am happy to introduce today, St Entertainment. Hi, hello, sorry, I, had a, I was having a sneezing fit while I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Sam Life. Hello, hello. We got Sam back. It's been so long, Sam. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's almost like we have our lifetime. <laughs> and of course, we've got Odessii. Yo, yo, that's me. And uh, I've asked them all to, to be here today under unknown pretenses. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out what's been going on for months, and I have no idea what we're doing still. If I can remember correctly, Liam and Sam have known since about November that I wanted to do this video, and I have not told them what it was. Finally figuring out Now that yeah. they are in the oh, call, they get to sure. find out what tortures I'm going to subject them to. For you see! So excited. This is a tournament, and if any of you know my channel, you happen to know that I like to read terrible lemon fan fictions about Black Butler. No. <laughs> oh my. Oh. So I am challenging I'm you. So excited. I am challenging you three as voice actors for Grell, for Alois, and for Claude <laughs> to write a lemon fan fiction oh, in the next goodness. 30 minutes. Oh, oh my God. We gotta write. Claude has a Claude already has a head start of fan fiction. What do you mean? What about you mean one of the that? the rest of one about somebody else here. Oh, and so it's what? <laughs> when you are done in 30 minutes, pencils down, you're going to have to voice act everybody else's, oh having my. never seen it before. Can I, and can the I winner, already, like, hold on, I'll, I'll get some comments out of the way. Finish your thing. Finish your thing. I'll get the comments after you finish this. The finish here. <laughs> and I would like to say that the winner of this gets a handsome reward out of my own mm. pocket. I make no money from YouTube. Please support me on Patreon. Or Patreon. you could support me the way that these people are going to win by you get free merch. Free merch. Everybody gets free merch. Give me your yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. 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 If somebody has you know to be what? excited. I'll be excited. Let's go. I just had an epiphany now. Yes. We were having a conversation earlier when we were talking about your channel and all that, and you subtly mentioned the lemon video earlier. Was that why you casually mentioned that? <laughs> I because you subtly were teasing about. up. I have no idea what you're talking about, Liam. That I would Is subtly a... <laughs> drop hints as to what you would be doing today? To get you psyched and ready for today's adventures? I'm not a writer. It's 3 a.m. in the morning for you. Why did you make me do this? I don't I don't write. I haven't written anything. I'm not a writer. Hey, that's fine. You I have 30 to. minutes to write the worst thing you've ever written in your entire life. <laughs> and then I make these poor souls reenact it. And then, of course, I will be the impartial judge. I hate to brag and all, but I used to write a lot of fan fiction back in my middle school. Uh, <laughs> I remember oh, that. I, I, I have, to be I have a Black Butler fan fiction on my WhatsApp. And when you mentioned mentioned that the last time we did a recording is part of what gave me this idea. Oh my god. <laughs> so I thought, Let's you go. know, you, you were thinking about giving me some content and I thought I'd take you up on that offer. Wonderful, wonderful, fantastic, truly. Any more uh, uh, comments we need to make before I tell you to 3, 2, 1, go? Is it possible to surrender immediately? <laughs> Unfortunately, you are oh. already <laughs> stuck. I have pulled you into the shadow realm. This is a shadow game. The and the losers <laughs> die. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I mean... Finally put me on my misery, I guess, but... <laughs> oh, so we're not literally sent to the Shadow Realm, we literally just... We're doing Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh, okay. We're doing Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh, yes. No, not the... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is horrible. It's fine. I don't wanna, it's fine. I don't wanna, I don't wanna end up being Bandit Keith. You wanna be Bandit Keith? <laughs> so, you're gonna go off on your own thing, and I'm gonna bother you while you're writing. And uh, when you're done, you can send them to me personally so that I can then screen share so nobody else's internet has to be affected by trying to screen share and scream and all this other stuff. Yes. Understandable. Okay. Three, two, one. Pow wow. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Here okay. Go. Oh, where am I? Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to force mute everybody. Yes. Okay. I'll just make Good everybody, uh, I'll, I'll unmute you when, when the time comes. So it's, um, who are all the characters we're doing? Aloise. So we've got Aloise, Sebastian, Claude, and Grell. 
And the idea, oh, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention, uh, which I did mention, but I, I forgot to tell you who you were writing for. Okay. Because you're not simply going, Claude is not simply going to write for Claude. You Claude see, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, Grell is going to write for Claude. Claude is going to oh, write for yeah. Aloise. And oh. uh, obviously that leaves Aloise with only one person. Wait, okay, Grell? Grell's writing for Claude. Grell is writing for Claude. Claude is, Claude writing. is writing for Aloise. Okay. And Alice is okay. writing for Grell. Wonderful. This is the worst video I have ever had any involvement in. <laughs> yeah. Yippee. <laughs> All right. So Grell, you're, you're going to get the best fan fiction, I'm telling you. All right. Three, two, one, just... Devin. So here's my plan. My plan is hopefully to bother them enough, give them some ideas, see what, see where they're going in uh, in this time. But hopefully this goes well. Are you enjoying yourself? Have you smashed like? Have you subscribed yet? Have you followed any of these other people? I'm putting my own money on the line here. I think the goal is to, to first pop in on Sam. I think Sam knows a bit more about about uh, this this writing process, so it, it'll be more interesting to see how the, the the writing process begins, and we might learn a thing or two for those of you aspiring to become epic epic writers of things. Five minutes later. All right, Sam's not Sam's not responding. Ethan, hey, hey, oh. how's it going? How's 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 the how's the writing process right. doing? Yeah. Going all right. Uh, anything. I think, it, I think it is, anyways. Yeah. And anything you, anything you, you've learned. Anything that's interesting. Uh, interesting developments. How's, how's it going so far? Uh, it's going all, all right. Am I writing Claude with again? Uh, whoever you want. Okay. You're making story whoever line, you think, want in this here. voice call, voice act whatever you write. Cool. Cool. Anything you can tell us about the story? Anything that you want to tell us? Is it all a secret? But Livy Butler, what can I say? Uh, that's so true. That's so true. All right, I, I'll. You better get back to writing. I'll. I'll do my best. <laughs> I hope I can bother Sam, who's just, just like too, too, too into writing right now. Just too into it. I'm so sorry. I got. I got really into it, but I didn't get a lot. <laughs> I, I can believe it. I can believe it. So so how's it going? How's it going so far? So far so good. I think I'm just I'm just starting to you know get them where they need to go. Is it important to to establish to get an establishing scene? Oh yeah, it, it's really good to like get the anticipation going. You know. Since you're uh, definitely the expert among the the four of us, uh, anything you can <laughs> tell any aspiring smut fanfic writers? Uh, writers or readers? Because writers. Writers. I suppose well, readers I too, to know, like, right off rip, what ones are the good ones and what ones are the bad ones. Right, right, right. Uh, as far as writers go, definitely do the research, however you want to do that research. Take inspiration from other books that you really like. Uh, self inserts are always fun as well. A lot of people like to rewrite stories, so if you find a, a show that you like that feels like you could write it better or smuttier and just do it like that just insert those characters into another situation and boom you got it that's that's the fanfic <laughs> that is incredibly insightful now a slight a slight detour question that is still on topic do you think you're going to mm -hmm. have enough time considering half of the time has elapsed oh i i considering i'm just getting into it i think i will be able to squeeze uh squeeze what i need to squeeze right before my time is evaporated, I think. Hopefully that uh, Grell can squeeze whatever he's going to squeeze, if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, get back to it. you got oh, 15 yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. you got 15 minutes. Okay. For sure, for sure. All of you seem to think you can write better fan fictions, and you probably can, but I'm going to challenge you to write one sentence Lemon Fan Fictions in the comments. You know what? Maybe two sentences. I'll let two sentences slide, but try to keep it one to two sentences, and I will be reacting to as many as I can in the next video and getting my friends to voice act all of them, and all in all, having a good day for me, good day for you, bad day for them. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna remind you that at the end to do that, because this is the right now in the middle, because I'm waiting for people to get done writing their own fan fictions. <laughs> I just gave them like five more minutes. There you go. Oh shit, hang on, I'm coming back. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? I was pacing around the room. Yeah? Why is that? Because my life is a, a, a pure disaster. <laughs> the result is in doing this. Anyway, what's up? Oh, not much. I just uh, wanted to know how, your, how the story was going. So, it's going. Uh, it's going. I've gotten a good sort of vantage point of where I want to go with this. You said I'm writing for Aloise, correct? Correct. So I didn't know if you wanted me to also like 
have it involve another character. Oh, absolutely. It can involve as many uh, characters as we have voice actors in this call. How long do you want this to go quickly? As long as you want. Okay, mine might be a little bit shorter than the most, but it's still a substantial enough length. <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm excited to, to hear it. I'm not. I'm excited to have it show up listen if you can if you win you get this epic copics merch mug that i'm drinking out of right now i'm drinking coffee out of it are you really merch plugging through my torment hey well, I, don't, I don't i'm just i just was i was just trying to figure out how it was going and i just thought i'd give you a little bit of motivation thanks thanks a lot you're welcome okay get I, back to it oh cool five minute warning five minutes five minute warning Oh, I, I was minutes. just getting into it. Uh, I, I, can, I can wrap this up. I think I'm pretty much done. I just need spell checking. You know, it's weird. Sam has like a great ability to have picked out exactly 30 minutes. Time's up. Time's up, guys. Time's up. It's minus five Ooh. seconds. That's it. We have a wonderful stop timer sound. I didn't know that's what it was going to sound wait, like. Wait, Pencils down. Pencils are down. No. You want to finish no. your sentence? Leave it right, finish your sentence. That's funny. <laughs> thank God. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Kind sir. For I, I had no idea, so I literally just threw something at the wall. I did, I did literally like five minutes of I think, very quick research before I started this to see like, okay, how do they normally write? You had to do research. What did you have to research? How they normally write. That's what how they what normally said. write. What do you mean? How do they normally write? What do you had mean? Did the research lemon. You had, to, oh, you had to look up lemons to see how they, <laughs> how you write lemons. How do write. That's so funny. I could have gone so oh, much more and so much lemon. further if I had more time. Well, I of course. Uh, of that's why we have the time. And guess what? I gave you all an extra five minutes. You actually went for 35 <laughs> minutes instead of 30. Oh, so, did it? Yes, Thank you. you did. Isn't it so <laughs> fun? You didn't even realize it. You guys thought that it was five minutes for a consecutive seven times, but it's okay. <laughs> hey, right. hey now. That is the most... <laughs> That is not Pog. That's not Pog, my friend. <laughs> what did you learn? How much How much fun was it? I uh, want to put my head through a plate. <laughs> I want to put my head through a plate glass window. I, I so truly forgot how much I enjoyed uh, riding smut, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know go. if I did good or not. So. I'm a bit real. Well, okay, I listen, did listen. write, but it I cut could, it short. It but I cut it short just as it got to the bad stuff. Uh, if oh, there's no, no lemon, how are, how are we supposed? How are we supposed to get into this if there's no lemon? I I can I I can tolerate writing something. I ain't going to that degree. Ah, so uh, you were I? supposed to let go of your inhibitions, man. Yeah, you were supposed to go on. wild. Throw caution That's to what the, the wind. Are doing. Exactly, <laughs> Liam. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna make the executive decision to let you still have a fight in this. And write more by going last. You but know there is, what? But oh, there is damn. no pee pee, pee, -pee <laughs> and butthole. Then I don't know. <laughs> then I don't know what to do, sir. Take take ours as inspiration. You know what? So I can give you what I've cur what I've currently says. It's quite short. I will give you what I've currently written. That's what he's. But I will. But I will voluntarily forfeit out the victory on this one. No, that's not how this works. You are stuck. That here. is how this. <laughs> no, is how this you are works. stuck. You are a competitor, no matter hostage. what. This is a hostage situation. This is not a democracy. <laughs> this is a dictatorship. He has a gun pointed at all of us. Emphasis um... on the dick. <laughs> no. Everybody may vote on who they think has the best one. At the end of reading all three, be sure to let us know what characters are in it, so we get to voice all of these. And uh, yeah. also DM me <laughs> privately your stories, please. I did write mine in Notepad. I tried to format it slightly better than what I typically write in oh, Notepad. Oh, it just goes, it just goes on and on. Ooh, that's not. Uh, good. Yeah, it, look, it okay. looks different in Notepad. I, I promise. Hold on, I got, I got a better idea. One moment, one moment. <gasps> <sighs> I could scream. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I did my best. It's my first and probably only fanfiction. There we go. It we is got... unfortunately not my first fanfiction. What's this? Fair this enough. this other one that we have here? Oh boy, William is in. The... <laughs> Those are my session notes for D and D. Oh, okay. I got. It. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, that makes. <laughs> Sorry, that I was just thinking. Like a, William. Don't worry about it. That, that sounds like a sitcom title. Oh boy, William's in the shower. Oh. It's in the shit house now. The now was cut off, but. It's my session notes for D&D. I haven't renamed it from our last session, which was session 56. We haven't done session 57 yet, and it will have another weird title. I I, I have untold layers of dread 
emanating from the pit of my stomach. Yeah, you know who wrote, <laughs> who wrote the one for Claude, right? This is... Don't read too far ahead. Oh, I like the best fanfic ever. I like the title. Thank you. Good oh. title. Yes, quality quality title. Quality title. It only has Sebastian and it only has Grell in it, so... Yippee! I fear where this is going already. Yeah, you probably should. I didn't get as far as I wanted to get, but then again... I yeah, did when best. we were given the extra five minutes, I was only halfway through what I wanted to get through. <laughs> five minutes? He just, he just publicly admitted we were given, like, ten minutes extra. Hey... He, he, look, all I knew is that it was five minutes, okay? So that's yeah. my story and I'm sticking with it. To be fair, to be fair. Same. I hope you guys enjoy, especially you, Grell. I, I put my uh, heart and soul into this. Oh, I'm gonna do my best to enjoy it. <laughs> Whenever he told me I had 15 minutes left, I, I kind of rushed through, um, because I'm very big on story building. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Even yeah, for my enough. spot. Very understandable. Yes, I do like a good story. Okay, then I, I think this will be story enough. If I proceed to backflip, I like a little am bit I gonna land on my... Please just... don't backflip. And I was gonna say, if I backflip, do you think how? What's the chance I'm landing on my head? Probably great, depending um, on if you stop. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's try it. No, no. This doesn't have to be that one. It's, it's <laughs> gotta be. Really I, mean, I think that's Rebel the only Grell that I ever had commissioned. <laughs> that's <laughs> not Grell. <laughs> reveal, their reveal their identity to me. Who drew that? What? Someone oh, who I really did. likes Clued. I did. <laughs> that was you. That was I you? Gave, I and gave you Sam my own hard earned dollars for that. <laughs> Why would you betray me like this? I'm sorry. Honestly, I needed the money. money well spent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? I respect the grind, you know what, fair enough. <laughs> so whatever this first one is gonna end up being, I don't wanna hear any of you in the potentiality, I don't wanna hear any of you jork it, and by jork it, I mean, let's say, your peanuts. <laughs> Not the peanut. I love that meme so much. I can't believe I quoted that. That's the, I didn't even thought I would. Not my Chico stick. What the, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. I don't want to know the answers to anything that we are going to experience. Not the so tallywhack. Sticking out your gap, <laughs> Rizzler. So skibbity, you so phantom tax. I'm so going true. to come across the water. You're going to what? Ever say that again? I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, you know probably what? am going to throw myself out of a window if I ever say that again. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so we've only got we've only got Grell and we've only got Bassy in, the, in this one, which means that the narrator is of course going going to be Sam. Okay. Uh, just true, there. Okay. Just kick back. Let me let me bring my mic a little closer and get my uh, my yeah, little no narrator there. voice going on. How's this? How's hey. this? Sound check. You're all good. You're all good. We're all, all we're right. We're all, all right. good here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know when I'm good to go. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Grell was just on another job, his usual boring routine. After the Jack the Ripper incident, he didn't have a lot of entertainment these days. However, the best he could do was daydream about his beloved Bassy. Yes, Sebastian Michaelis was the one for him, the most handsome and seductive demon he has ever laid his eyes on. The fact that he was tethered to that one-eyed brat bothered Grell, uh, but it was nothing he couldn't handle, especially tonight. The Lord I just had have promised to stop Grell you there that... and say the, uh -huh. the the writing, the the misspelling. It's it's indicative Don't. of someone who's definitely written before. What do you mean? Damn, that is, that I said, is mean. <laughs> no, listen. Damn, if you've bro. written stuff before, like in my experience, you've lots of lots of lots of spelling errors. It's it's all about the story and less about the the quality of the writing. Is all I have to say. Look, man, I was I also had thirty minutes. Because it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true. All right, uh, go ahead, go on. Uh, <clears throat> The Lord had promised Grell that he could have Sebastian for one night, in which he was allowed to do absolutely anything he wanted to with the demon, and he planned to do exactly that, after he finished this job, of course. Once the job was done, he quickly moved his way towards he quickly made his way towards the Phantom Hive Manor, his body heating up with excitement. He couldn't wait to get his hands on that sexy beast. Oh, Vasi, I'm here for a promised time, my love. I'm so sorry I was late. The other Reapers had me complete such a boring list. He burst through the doors, twirling through the main entrance. There, standing at the top of the stairs, was, it, was his love was awaiting him. 
That cute little exasperated look on his face only made Grell swell with more excitement. Evening, Grell. Bassy said with an obviously forced smile. He walked down the stairs with swift grace. Shall I take your coat for you? Oh, Bassy, you're such a charmer. Grell blushes and shrugs off his coat, unbuttoning his shirt as Sebastian sets the coat aside on a nearby rack. Now, don't forget, the young lord said I could do anything I wanted with you. Yes, yes, and I plan to uphold that agreement, Reaper. Sebastian smiles that devilish smile. I won't have to see you for quite some time once I'm done with you. Grell's body heats up, his face turning red and his pants growing tight. My, my. You have such a way with words, Bassy. You really know how to turn up the heat. <clears throat> Sebastian, without another word, scoops Grell up's bridal spot. Oh my god. <clears throat> Sebastian, <laughs> without another word, scoops Grell up bridal style, and in the blink of an eye, they're in the servants' quarters. Bassy is quick with his movements, opening the door to his bland room, tossing Grell onto the bed, and locking the door behind them. Before Grell can fully process that this is, in fact, actually happening, actually Sebastian happened. is on top of him in an instant, placing his body in between Grell's legs and pressing himself against Grell's hardening member. Oh, Bassy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no, why? Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, I can't narrate. <laughs> Grell moans and grips his hands on into Sebastian's back, panting hard at uh, how quickly this is going. He hasn't even gotten his kiss yet. Sebastian chuckles low and nibbles at Grell's <laughs> neck, beginning to grind in his own hardening pocket against Grell's. <laughs> Grell is already becoming lightheaded as he feels himself being lifted up, his clo clothes being qu quickly snatched off his body and tossed onto the ground, leaving him bare and exposed. When did Sebastian also get undressed? By the gods, Sebastian was even more attractive without his usual butler's attire. His abs were solid. Grell could just lick them right up. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and he is gone. He doesn't know if, uh, if that could even fit inside him without tearing him into two. But Grell yearned for it so much that his mouth began to water. <laughs> Do you regret this now? Do you regret the pain that you've started? I'm having so much fun. This is what you've been waiting for, isn't it? Sebastian growls, his eyes glowing, re glowing red with lust. My cock shoved into you. <laughs> 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 clip that, clip that chat. <laughs> You're killing me, girl. Non vigorously, already lifting his hips with the hope of a touch. Anything. Sebastian, please, I need you inside of me. <laughs> Grill bites his lip and grinds the grips the sheets underneath him. You finally said my name right. <laughs> Good kitten. So no, hold on. No, let me let me do this again. I I'll, I'll stop laughing. You. <coughs> you finally said my name right. Good kitten. That alone could have made Grill come, but then <clears throat> hold on. I need to also stop laughing. That alone could have made Grill come, but then Sebastian places his tip at Grill's entrance, and he can no longer focus on anything else. He needs Sebastian now. He can't take another second of waiting. Please. 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 Do you want me to do the sound effects? <laughs> yeah. You'll get your time. You'll get your time there you go. <laughs> Griff. <laughs> we stop again. Girls begging is caught off by the sudden fullness as Sebastian shoves his cock in the girl's ass. <laughs> pleasure, pleasure shooting through him so much that he is unable to contain his moaning. It stings at first, but quickly the pain subsides as Sebastian relentlessly pounds into the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is definitely the story. <laughs> So sorry. It was the blurst of times. All right, Grell, can Betty. you do one more? Can you do it a little bit, a little more? <laughs> you are horrible for me. Before that. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is okay. It's my turn. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. 
He can feel the heat in the pit of his stomach already feeling close. He wraps his legs around Sebastian's waist, kneading every inch of him inside. Sebastian grips girl's, girl's hair in between his fingers and makes eye contact. It's taking me so well, kitten. Before Grell can respond, Sebastian kisses him, shoving his tongue in a girl's mouth, and that's where I got cut off. Is there anything? <laughs> First of all, round of applause. <laughs> all right. And, the uh, exasperated sigh was, was great. The mic, I think. <laughs> uh, was, was there anything you would have liked to add to this? Um. Well, I, after finally getting to kiss Sebastian for the first time, um, even though he wanted that first, I think I would have had Grell finish, and then Sebastian was like, oh, well, it's it's my turn now, and then, you know, the proceeding of sucking cocks. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. I mean, that, yeah. that's the natural progression, honestly. Of course, of course. Yeah, they, they both have to finish or else it's not a complete job. Why you know? are we being it's true. It's, it is, that is true. And I, I would Man like to. Man wasn't ready for the philosophy of smut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ready for, I'm ready for something and it's definitely not this. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what, Bucko? You're reading next. <laughs> All right. Ne well, the next, one is, the next one is going to be... Uh, it's gonna be Liam's. Can I go? Can I go last? Can I go last, Captain? Please. You would like to go last? <laughs> it's it's the short it's the shortest one probably, so you could feasibly could. Okay. Yeah, probably right, he did have then. to research for five minutes. <laughs> no, like five five minutes. I'm gonna be honest, brother. It wasn't five minutes. It was like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you had to research for two minutes. I couldn't be bothered for half of what I was witnessing, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> To hell with it. Man Just move the hell. Yippee! Look at the small text. <laughs> Yippee! I, just, I also Yippee. Just, I just, uh, so I want to just make the statement that I uh, God, read the. Sebastian is crazy. Sorry, is, go ahead. Is it concerning that I felt bile in my throat the minute I read the title? Fanfic <laughs> time. My, my career is over after this. <laughs> my non-existent career is over after this. I can't come back from this. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I don't Look, understand why, I even why... formatted it with indents for paragraphs. Oh, look. fantastic! All right, so, so um, uh, who are, who are the players in this? Uh, it's just Sebastian can, and Claude. You can okay. see who the players are. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> look, this is my first time writing this kind of thing. I wasn't sure what to do. I you could have added anybody in this in this uh, voice call. Shut up. That's, that's I know. Including yourself. I know. I know I could have. But then I didn't much much We're learning so that next time that I that I trick all of you into next coming time. in. Next time. Oh, God. Not next as long time. As, as long as this video gets enough likes. I'll know better. <laughs> Liam, as, as the biggest proponent, as a pr or the, the biggest uh, person against, against this, how many likes would it take on this video to get you to do another one? Realistically. Realistically. 15. I'll be generous 15 and I'll say 15. 15. One fifteen. Wow. All right. Or fifth of the way with three of us here. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Twenty. Twenty. I count. take that back. Twenty. Twenty. 20. <laughs> oh, all right. Twenty likes. Twenty likes. I'll let you ah, do I should one. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do one. <laughs> one. one I'll, but that's it. You. You agree with twenty. All right. So, if you would like to narrate for us, Ethan. Oh, of course. I'll try not to laugh. Oh, which laugh as much just, as you want. That's what makes it good. Yeah. It's. It's not a promise. I. I'm in a giggly mood right now, apparently. Good. Yeah, Good. I think we all are, honestly. <laughs> I think Liam's just tired right now. Tired of what? I'll let you figure that out for yourself. <laughs> Carry on. He's tired of lemon. <laughs> Speaking of lemon, here's my Claude X Sebastian lemon fic. Sebastian was out on an errand for Ciel, gathering some flowers to give to Elizabeth when he ran into Claude. Claude was also trying to gather gather flowers for some reason or another, and they were both reaching for the same flower. The Smay flower. Look, I, I've watched your lemon videos. I know I have to include. You know what? I can appreciate the authenticity, the, 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 the yeah. attention to detail of the art of fanfic Fantastic. writing. Of course. I believe that this would be mine. Bastion says. Perhaps you should look elsewhere. So I'm trying to read the formatting of this. Is this is me next? <laughs> Yes. Dude, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. I'm not no, used those, to writing fanfics. Don't apologize, me neither. I'm trying to just like keep a match of this. While I would have nothing more, I'm under strict or strict orders. Lord retorted. Adopting a more annoyed tone, Sebastian asked. And what would that be? Can't say. You'll have to beat it out of me if you truly wish to know. Oh my god. Claude's taunting had no effect, but the constant annoyance of going after the same flowers as Sebastian. 
it. After a dozen or so more times, Sebastian lashed out in anger. Claude was ready and caught the blow. Is that me or is that what? you? Oh, it's me. Oh, cool. Awesome. You ought to try better than that. So he did. But Claude was ready for each attack. There was only one more thing to try. Sebastian tore off his shirt, exposing his chiseled physique underneath. <laughs> Claude. What the bloody hell are you doing? Man, you freaky. <laughs> you wouldn't be ready for my next attack. Chiseled abs is very effective. Oh, he flexes his shirt just him disintegrates. <laughs> it's it's like it's like Armstrong and um oh what was his name? Butcher, um, butcher man. Yeah, the butcher man, uh teacher's husband from Full Metal Alchemist, just flexing at each other in in respect. Yes. Sig, it's Sig, right? Sig. Yes. Something like that. Claude was yeah. taken aback. So, so Sebastian capitalized on that moment. After pinning Claude to the ground, Sebastian asked one more why he was interfering with his work. I told you I was under strict orders. Claude replied. Still Claude, by the way. Oh, still, okay. Would you like to know what they were? Well, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to resort to this. Sebastian says, <laughs> pushing Claude Sabaton. harder into the ground. <laughs> Sebastian. Sebastian. My orders were getting to close. Physical contact with you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> help, me, I can't... help me. Help <laughs> me. Right, hold on, hold on. Man wasn't up. ready for my next move. <laughs> shut up. Everybody, shut man, up. Re <laughs> man really pulled out all five pieces of Exodia. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I was a, I got obliterated then. My orders were to get him. Oh, you're about to close. get obliterated later. <laughs> Let me just get through this line, please. I beg of you. My orders were to get <laughs> Please, I just need you to finish this. I, I can't. I, I can't. Please skip to the next line. I beg of you, please. No, no this no, is I, how this works. I can't read you it. Just, you know, if you had stuck with 15 it. likes, maybe I would have been. But you know what? I physically, I physically can't read it. Okay. My orders were to get into close physical contact with you in any way possible. But why? Why would you be ordered to do that? Bastion asked, to which Claude, Claude responded with... Hang on, hang on. Well, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say. Why would it be embarrassing to say? Sebastian yelled, losing the last shreds of his patience. If I hide the script, I can't laugh. If I hide the script, I can't <laughs> laugh. If I read it for a second... Yeah, go, go with that. <laughs> go with that. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's because good. my hatred had turned into curiosity, which turned into... Uh, uh, perfection. <laughs> Bastion lets off the pressure a bit and rolls Claude over to face him. Claude's cheeks are redder than Mayrin's hair, and he can't look Sebastian in the eyes. But... Why? Sebastian inquires further. All Claude could manage was... It just did. I can't explain it. <laughs> Sebastian's eyes were focused mainly on Claude's face, while his body felt Claude's trembles of excitement. Well, if I can't indulge in both our curiosities, and make it back with the flowers on time, what kind of a butler would I be? Oh my god. I can just say the line. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I fucking got you. You did. You did. I I've Claude tears reaches in my up eyes. to Claude reaches oh, up to caress the bastion's chest. He feels solid muscle. Dressing his down, past the abs to the belt line, he freezes for a moment. Sebastian wow. notices and says in a soft tone. It's alright. No, I'm sorry. I got excited. Says in a soft tone. <laughs> Yo. I, I see us in a soft tone. It's alright now. <laughs> you have nothing to fear. 
As Claude begins to undo Sebastian's trousers, Sebastian does the same to Claude. They both then begin to manate each other's <laughs> love slug. <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. Pause. What the fuck did you just write? <laughs> love slug? <laughs> I've never heard that before in fanfiction terms ever. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> What? I'm gonna use that forever. I'm gonna when I talk to my boyfriend later, I'm gonna call it his love slug and see how he feels about it. I'm so sorry, continue. It's okay, I was already bursting out of laughter at Love Slug. What made you think of that? Like It's beautiful. Oh, that is incredible. Oh, where was I? He says it's Love Slug. Well, please please go back to Love Slug. Yeah. Love Slug. And get into the swing of things. Once both of them were full mast, Sebastian took over, thrusting into Claude with vim and vigor. Oh, Claude he's gasped already once. Yes, no foreplay. Okay. Claude gasped once, but then sighed in pleasure as he felt Sebastian's bits moving along so voraciously. Both of them had built up a sweat, <laughs> and Claude's shirt clung to his muscles like he was clinging on to Sebastian. Claude felt an immense pressure in his pelvis, and then a release as he spewed his seed from his erected Johnson. Oh, his erect Johnson. Johnson? I've I never actually that. read that before. I mean, I've never read Lux Slug before. <laughs> Johnson no, just seems so term. old fashioned. <laughs> and I, I, I have time. an immense respect for that. It was yeah, the worst yeah. of times. <laughs> it was wow. the worst of times. Upon this added pressure of his schlong, Sebastian also <laughs> splurged. <laughs> <laughs> With both of them dripping with sweat and stuff, Sebastian calmly got up, got dressed, and went about his task. Claude, still exhausted <laughs> from all of that, asked what he was doing. Finishing the task I was given. I got only a couple of minutes. Yeah, but you, but you also have to sound exhausted. I really sort of... But how can you manage to move while I'm exhausted? I am simply... One hell of a butler. Yeah, you Sebastian's got butterflies. Sebastian's reply as you walked away with the bouquet in hand. That's horrible. That... First of all, were they in the middle of the flower shop while that was happening? No, this was... I thought they were in the garden, to be honest with you. Yeah, this... I might have... Yeah. This was an outdoor kind of scene. That's so funny. I didn't, I didn't set it... I didn't set it too, That's... too much. That's okay. Public the, public indecency, my just my middle school floor. heart flourished because this was just exactly what type of shit I would read. Uh, because no one knew how to write good shit back then. <laughs> Not saying yours is bad. <laughs> it's bad in a good way. Round of applause, of course. I have never been in this much pain. <laughs> oh I actually can't breathe. Oh my god, that I've never oh, laughed at. Lord have I, mercy. Nothing happened. Nothing got me at that. It's just something tricked in my mind that I realized it just, just that activated the laugh switch and it just wouldn't turn off. It was jammed. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm so scared for mine, but I also like... yours. All right. You don't have to worry about yours. It's it's fine. It's just we, okay. like I said, mine's the last. I would like to say I do I do I do appreciate the name <laughs> I of said, the title. I said mine was last. Um, it's been Is a minute since I've been Eloise. So I, I right, to... okay. I did kind of like make a small error when I'm thinking about this. I started writing it under the pretense of who else or the other people in the story, and then I realized about like a quarter of the way through. Oh wait, we don't have we don't have a CL, do we? Oh. <laughs> oh no! Wow. You know, honestly, you know, honestly, your CL now. Who? Honestly, CL now. I'm, I'm oh, actively man, I'm making CL. that a decree. You are CL, right? You are CL now. Oh my gosh! All right, I am. Um, like I said, it is quite a short one. That's it's all a right. little bit. It's a little bit lighter, but can you still classify it as a lemon? It's soft core. Soft core lemon. Soft core lemon. So that yeah. that's not lemon. Then that's um. That, there's actually yeah. terminology with different ones. Lime. There's lemon. There's lime. There's um. There's a uh, blood orange. There's Just there's a couple orange? different ones. Ooh, I haven't put that into the search bar yet. I am horrified as to what blood orange could possibly mean. <laughs>
I don't want to know. Oh don't no, look it's it grapefruit. Up. Grapefruit, not blood orange, but like you can still look it up. We are not gonna get anything. Yeah, that's not it. All right, instead of okay, that, I think let's... it's grapefruit, not blood orange. Oh, oh <laughs> you see the oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, can we go back? Can we go back to the fact that I saw <laughs> Black Butler and Preg fanfiction? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Do not, Have you guys do never not read an impreg? <laughs> no. You know, no. fucking fancy that. No, it's... I, I don't think I have. It's under the Omega Verse tab of fanfiction. I hate to admit it. Oh, it's this admit website. It. It's this website. I remember this website. Oh my god, this website. This is the one we did last time. Yes, can it is. Please, yes, please, it please. is. I'm having PTSD flashbacks. Please, can we just go back to our fucking. Uh... Sebastian held his two-hour-old son. <laughs> no! Vincent Sebastian. Hold on. Oh my gosh, there's... Oh, this is so... This is so... Something. All right, that's not it. It's not chapter eight. It's chapter really seven. Oh, it starts off like that. Okay. Sale stared down at his pregnant belly. Oh. Okay, oh, so it... It starts off like it's, that. It just starts oh, yeah. off. It just starts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how they usually do. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's. There's also no. No birth scene. I just. Am I allowed curious. to? Am, am I? Am I allowed to phone a friend for a narrator? Oh, no. Who are you phoning? <laughs> you. <laughs> you mean the narrator? <laughs> I, I'm phoning. I'm phoning you as a friend. Please. I don't think you'll no. be able to make it through fiction. the first couple of sentences. Come on, you, you can do it. I. I. I've been. I. I cracked up at. The last story we written over something that was Sorry, not guys, even I remote. Don't. You have to. We we. You, it's not fair. You we had to do ours. It's your turn. Oh, no, to I'll do say I'll, I'll say I do it. I'll do it. Okay. I'll have to make it clear. It's not going to be easy considering I laughed at something that was not even remotely funny. So. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Isn't that your yeah. whole personality, okay. though? Ooh. Yes. I was going to say, <laughs> you send the best memes, and by the best memes, the most <laughs> questionable memes ever. <laughs> I, I, think, right I think I have you to partially blame for my sense of humor, because you send me the most cursed memes that I love Lord. so much. And that's, that's what I'm proud of. Liam, I need to take this moment. And mm -hmm. I, I need to... I I need to say yes. that I treasure our friendship. And <laughs> it is where is he where is it's just, happening? It's, it's because of you that in these long years What happening that, that, that I that I can call myself the man I am today. Reading <laughs> lemon fact fictions. <laughs> That's my friends. Four a.m. Exactly. And it's because of you that make me want to do you with your two hundred subscribers, two hundred fifty thousand. And that's why it was important that you were here with me today, reading your own fan fiction. Let's go. I just, I can't. I'm running out of energy. I've got nothing alive for any emotion. All right. I'll, I'll read it for you. But what's the trade off? How about. Liam? What are you going to read in here? Uh. You can be. We can replace CL with someone else and make We can replace one of, CL with be... Claude. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't even make sense for the context of the fit. Fine, I'll. Well, I'll then you have to. Fucking... You can voice I'll CL. Just... I don't know. It's one or the other. I'll, I'll, just, I don't know. I'll go for. I'll just do CL. Fine. Yeah, okay, I'll not? do CL. All right, that's fine. All right, cool, cool, cool. Mm. cool. <clears throat> like I said, it, it's quite a short story, uh, so I couldn't think of anything. Anyway, carry on. Uh, is there anything you would like to add to the end of this story? Just in case if you ever thought of anything. No. <laughs> All right. The moon was low across the sky, casting a pale light through the grand gothic windows of the Trancy Manor and stretching through the oblong shadows across the cold marble floor. This was an empty ballroom, except for two figures whose presence seemed to add heat to an otherwise frigid night. Mm. CL Phantom Hive stood at the window, peering into the darkness with his one visible eye. The other was hidden behind his trademark eye patch. He was a slender young boy with blue hair and epitomized grace. But tiny inscriptions etched into his small body spoke of tension, belying 
the calmed exterior. Behind him, Eloise Trancy advanced with the grace that bespoke a predator. Oh my god. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. the articulation and ability to write is something I did yeah, not why expect is it, from you. Why is it actually so good? <laughs> Why is, why it's, is this? It's not, I assure you, it's the... You're using a semicolon? It's... <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I just have... Wow. Fantastic. His lips curled into a mischievous smile. The blonde earl's usually flamboyant attire seemed almost subdued in the silvery moonlight. His piercing blue eyes glowed bright with a mood that would have equaled the electric anticipation in the air. You came. Eloise whispered, his voice low and seductive, reaching out to gently touch Seal's shoulder. Seal half turned, his eyes locking with Eloise's, filled with curiosity and caution. Oh God, how do I, how do I do a Seal voice? What the fuck? Take your time. Take your time. Trying to figure out uh, if you want. I am here to yes. discuss our terms of our arrangement. <laughs> That's the best I got. <laughs> here, you want yeah, me to, want me to, that actually wasn't too bad. That was not uh, that bad, honestly, from no, just the top keep of your going. head. I, just, no, I don't need to study it, just keep going. I'll do that voice, it's fine. Makeup tutorial, that's pretty cool. Say aww. Uh, wait, just what the devil are you playing at? Oh, is it too hot? I give myself an eye patch I just to... to like your niece. I don't have an eye patch. Wait, no, I got an idea. Uh, also, oh, I planned on passing right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll just do the most stereotypically posh English accent. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you just have to sound you... like a whammon doing a young boy's I don't voice. Think, I don't think you notice one thing, but my voice is, like, very deep, so that's- that- the likelihood of that happening is, like, 1%. I didn't notice. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. It is now five o'clock, so I probably you know, I'm normally up in about two hours. It's, Isn't it it's, fun? Isn't it great? Hold on, let great. me add add image. Are you just adding an eye patch over to the? Yes, yeah. <laughs> for sure. That is incredible. For some reason, saying Claude is the thing that best gets me into Alois Trancy's voice because of how much I said it back in the day when we were doing fan calls. Yeah, yeah, I I I do remember that. Claude, do you remember all the fan fictions I found in your room back then? <laughs> no wonder it's so good now. Ugh. You had practice. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna do the. I'm just gonna do the most step. Try and do the most stereotypically English accent, okay. posh English accent ever, or something That's like good. that. Anyway, I'm here to discuss the terms of our arrangement. Of our arrangement, the arrangement of a hopeful truce between our houses. He said, trying to keep his voice steady while his heart raced. Alois chuckled. A sound which ran shivers down Ciel's spine. Ah, Ciel, so businesslike. He purred, advancing nearer until an inch separated them. But tonight, let's set aside business, hmm? He closed the distance between them without waiting, his lips barely touching Ciel's in a soft, enticing caress of, of skin on skin. Ciel tensed, but Aloise's warm breath and soft lips caved his defenses as he felt himself matching the kiss, his mouth opening slightly to deepen it. Alois's hands wandered, tracing the contours of Ciel's slender frame, his touch both gentle and insistent. Ciel's own hands found their way to Alois's waist, pulling him closer to their ki as their kiss grew in passion and in demand. The heat between them built a need as primal as any animal, as they explored each other with an urgency that belied their years. Alois's fingers tangled in Ciel's hair as he pulled them closer, their tongues dancing in a rhythm of fire. Ciel's hands roamed over Ciel Alois's back, feeling the tension beneath the fabric of his shirt. Why is this actually good? I know, it's crazy. Man was writing art. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he only cooks. He only cooks. They broke apart, gasping, their, ears, their eyes locked in a gaze that spoke of desire and silent promise. Alois smirked, and as his hands slipped to undo the buttons of Ciel's jacket with practiced ease. Let's see how well the Queen's watchdog can play, he whispered, his voice husky with need. Ciel held his breath as Eloise's hands meandered further south, but said nothing. 
Instead, he succumbed to the moment, to the intoxicating feeling of Alois's touch and the thrill of the forbidden secret encounter. As the night wore on, shadows in the great ballroom came alive, wrapping them in secrecy and desire. The seclusion of the nook afforded Alois and Ciel the opportunity to follow their attractions as far as they wished, lose themselves in the heat of that moment, and taste the forbidden delight of their union. Then would come the dawn with all its brilliant light, back to the real world of contention and nobility. But for now, beneath the moon's gaze, they were just two boys discovering the perilous charm of forbidden love, with no knowledge of what comes next. <laughs> yes, this is where I ran out of ideas. Why was why, why was this actually like really good? Why why was this why was this uh, yeah. That that <laughs> that's definitely the best one I've read so far. Yeah, no, I <laughs> and I thought I was the fan fiction writer. Excuse you. Well, I'd I don't, call back I don't, my middle school days, and then here you are with art. I'm not. I just. I'm not. I just want to make it clear. I'm not moonlighting as a fan fiction writer. I. I want to make that perfectly clear ahead of time. <laughs> Your moonlighting is something else, according to this fic. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know myself, man. <laughs> That was, what the hell? That was a good, like, tone and down one. Like, it was a lot smoother. If only, uh, Sebastian over there could could have done it justice by not stuttering. I, I'm not <laughs> dyslexic. I'm giving you shit. I'm You're giving you dyslexic. Shit. I am, actually. Yeah, that well, was his like, spelling errors. I'd like to think that I kind of can write some kind of cohesive. I've just never written that kind of stuff before. But like, enough, I think I can enough, write. When I'm bored, I feel like I can write quite well, especially considering there's a there is a story thing I have written that nobody knows about that has that, that only I've seen. So hear me okay. out with collab. Yes. Can you imagine if we all collabed on one fan fiction. Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> right. So right. So how do you figure out how's the, the results of this thing ending up then? I would like everybody to send me their their vote for the best fan fiction. So send God, me I... a private message. Which one you liked better? The best the best fan fiction ever, written by Sam. Fanfic time, <laughs> written by Ethan. Or I regret <laughs> making this abomination for a game show thing, written by Liam. <laughs> best name. I, I love that name. name. I would like to say that we had a very, very close, very close battle. As a runner-up, Ethan has yeah. uh, has one honorable mention vote Yippee. because it was very authentic. To it, it was very good at capturing what mm -hmm. was An original how, how a middle theory. schooler would write. Yeah, and it and and that yeah. is something that we really we really we really respect. We really, really appreciate it. And that obviously means that we have a first and a second place. And since it'll be obvious who gets first place, I'm going to go with who gets first place. In first place, okay. with an astonishing uh, every single vote for first place, <laughs> is Liam! Liam wins first place! Woo! Liam! Liam is the, the, you hear it here, folks, the, the official from this channel, the official Lemon Smut fanfic writer. No, I'm not. As he is the winner of this, <laughs> this thing. He, he got all of the votes. Now Sam, the Sam vitriol. did get uh, the official uh, an official vote. He did get one official because <laughs> Liam is not allowed to vote for himself. Right, and he wouldn't anyway. <laughs> did you have fun? I have to ask. Did you have fun? Yeah, I I, I like reliving my middle school days. So yeah. Would you do I it again if we got more. 20 likes? Yeah. Yeah. And Liam already right. agreed that he would do it for 20 likes. So <laughs> congratulations, Liam. You get to pick anything you want from my store for free. I will ship it to you at copix.shop.fourthwall.com. Oh. What would you like, good sir? Uh. Oh god, I actually don't know. I'll take the mug. You get the mug. What size mug? What kind of mug? Because uh, there's a couple of mugs there. Slap it on my butt. Sex, so Keep that poo in for as long as you can. Why did I have? Why did I have to hear that? <laughs> is this what we've reached now? We're just advertising the soundboard. This yes. is a bucket. Big bucket. Dear God. Dear God. No. no. This guy moaned at least this loud. <laughs> oh. That was us. That was us this episode. Right. That was us. I will go Monsters. with the 15, 15 ounce Copex mug. A 15 ounce Copex mug. What a great choice. What a great choice. That is 
That is yours, my friend. That is the one that I have right here that I've been drinking coffee out of while you guys had to stay awake real late into the Yippee. night. Uh, mostly yeah. uh, into the morning now, officially for Liam. So, Liam, thank you so much for being here and everybody else. Uh, I just definitely thank have you. to give a special shout out since it is 5 mm-hmm. 15 in the morning. Liam for the win. He deserved this win. Mostly because of his skills, uh, uh, being being a, a lemon fanfic writer. So uh, join join us next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stop. If you want to be part of the next video, all you have to do is leave a one sentence lemon fan fiction in the comments below. I'm gonna react to them. I'm gonna get my friends to react to them. So you can put as many characters in as you want. Next video, it is all you, baby.